Hello YouTube, Sir Dragon X here, coming to you from Monterrey, Nuevo León. I'm standing right in front of the Palacio del Gobierno, also known as the Palace of the Governor. Today, we're going to explore the beautiful city of Monterrey, Nuevo León. Welcome back to Retired Life in Mexico, no bull. Not only will we present you with the facts, but we present you with the true reality. Today, we're gonna explore the beautiful city of Monterrey, Nuevo León. This city holds a special place in my heart. Not only is it the place where my beautiful wife was born and raised, it also happens to be where my in-laws live. So, you can imagine, we visit here often. Monterrey is also home to two famous soccer teams, the Rayados and the Tigres. It just so happens that I'm wearing my Tigres shirt because my father-in-law graduated from the university where the Tigres play. This city is rich in history and culture, and that is why it is also one of the most developed cities in Mexico. And a special shout out to my brother-in-law and sister-in-law that lent me this terrace with this beautiful view. More importantly, Monterrey holds a very, very special value to me. This just happens to be a place where a very vigilant doctor went the extra mile, and found my cancer. Not only was my cancer detected early, thanks to the outstanding medical care of some of the best hospitals in the world and the latest medical technology, my treatment was a success. I guess you could say that Mexico, specifically Monterrey, saved my life. Now, that is a story for my next video on healthcare in Mexico. Before we start exploring, I want to remind you to subscribe to this channel and hit the little bell so you won't miss any of my future videos. I also encourage you to like this video if you enjoy the content. It also helps me get the word out on YouTube. And don't forget to visit us on Facebook and Instagram at the links listed in the video and in the description of our channel. Monterrey is the capital and largest city in the northeastern state of Nuevo León. Monterrey just happens to be the second largest city in Mexico in area and population according to the 2020 census. It is also conveniently located just two and a half hours south of the Texas-Mexico border. Monterrey has an approximate population of 5 million people according to the 2020 census. What's very interesting is that Monterrey's history goes all the way back to the 16th century. The Spanish expeditioner Luis Carvajal de la Cueva established a territory called Nuevo León, and in 1582, he established a settlement called San Luis Rey de Francia. The territory of Nuevo León remained mainly abandoned and uninhibited for eight years until Diego de Montemayor founded the city called Ciudad Metropolitana de Nuestra Señora de Monterrey. This can be translated in English as the Metropolitan City of Our Lady of Monterrey. During the years of Spanish rule, Monterrey remained a small city and its population varied from a few hundred to only dozens. The city facilitated the trade between San Antonio, now in Texas, and Tampico and Saltillo. In the 19th century, after the Mexican Independence War, Monterrey rose as a key economic center for the newly formed nation. This is because it held a very strategic trade location. In 1842, the territory of Nuevo León became the state of Nuevo León with Monterrey as its capital. During the last decade of the 19th century, Monterrey was linked by railroad, which benefited industry. Monterrey also became one of the biggest producers of steel in the world. To this day, Monterrey continues to be known as the commercial and industrial center for trade. Monterrey is approximately 2,000 feet above sea level. Monterrey lies in a valley surrounded by mountains, the most famous known as Cerro de la Silla. Cerro de la Silla is named because of its distinctive shape and it looks like the saddle of a horse. Monterrey is also known as La Ciudad de los Montañas, translated into City of the Mountains. The mountains surrounding Monterrey contains many canyons, trails, and roads. 
and many are suitable for hiking. There are many attractions in Monterrey, but one of the most famous is a waterfall called Cola de Caballo, translated in English into horse's tail. The reason why is it resembles a horse's tail. Now, as far as cost of living, that varies widely. We have friends and family that live here on approximately $2,000 a month, but that is because they own their home and do not pay rent and their property taxes run around $200 a year. With that being said, the cost of living expenses here can be kind of expensive, just like other major cities in other countries. Now, the cost of housing is totally based on location. The median housing cost in a decent neighborhood is between anywhere from $250,000 to $500,000. Rent also varies widely depending on location. It can be anywhere between $1,300 all the way up to $4,000 a month. Fun fact, Monterrey is very famous for its cabrito, goat. It's also famous for a candy called Glorias, which is made from the goat's milk. Monterrey is also very famous for its carne asada, or grilled beef. Monterrey is also home to the number one private university in Mexico called El Tecnológico de Monterrey. Not only is the Tecnológico de Monterrey the number one private university in Mexico, it's also rated in the top five in Latin America. And in doing my research, the public university here is very, very well known. The public university here is very famous for its medical school. Not to mention, from personal experience, I can vouch that Monterrey is home to some of the best private and public hospitals in all of Mexico. So let's wrap this up. If you enjoy urban living, but want to escape to the country, Monterrey just may be for you. Now let's explore the beautiful city of Monterrey. Wait, I can't start the show without having a Gloria. Mmm.